Dear delegates, dear uh, organizers, greetings from Cape Town. Thank you very much for the invitation. It will be a pleasure to participate in the China Medical Expo. Today, I will give you an overview about the activities of the ICGB Cape Town component. The presence of ICGB in the African continent has increased dramatically since the establishment of Cape Town component, as you see in 2008, and now you can see the map in 2020, and is growing much more with six new income member states uh, now in the, in the African continent, including Angola, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Djibouti, Rwanda, and Ethiopia. Now, we'll give you a little bit of overview about the research activities in our component here in Cape Town. Uh, currently, we have 17 nationalities operating in the component. Most of them are coming from the continent. And six research groups, cancer genomics, cytokines and disease, biopesticides, emerging virus, plant system biology, and bioinformatics. I will tell you a little bit about each group and their full uh, research focus. The cytokines and disease, had by Professor Frank Brombacher, focus on uh, many diseases of importance in Africa, such as tuberculosis, African trypanosomiasis, leishmaniasis, helminth infection, allergy, colitis, and neuroimmunology. This group has performed a high throughput screening using transcriptomics and proteomics in order to identify targets of biological relevance that can be uh, drugable targets. And also, they uh, identified their mechanism, mechanistic activities. The group, through this uh, assay, identified statins, a viable candidate for host direct therapy against infectious disease and tuberculosis. This led not just to this uh, uh, review articles in Nature, but also. Uh, led to a award of a uh, uh, grant from the DCTP, which is taking this project to clinical trials in patients with tuberculosis and HIV uh, together. The second group is the group led by Dr. Dennis Nindolo, who is the biopesticides group. This group focus on promoting the use of biopesticides in particular, focusing on enhancing the trade through regulatory harmonization and pesticide-based residues mitigation in the SADAC region. This project was funded recently by the Standards and Trade Development Facilities and involves now many institutions in many countries and address three of the Sustainable Development Goals, number two, zero hungry, industry innovation and infrastructures, number nine, and 17 partnerships for goals. The project was conceptualized back in 1999 in order to develop harmonized biopesticides guidelines and promoting the integration of biopesticides. Uh, the planning and the meeting, as I said, was in 2019 including many uh, local and international institutions, such as the FAO, Agric African Agriculture Technology, Southern African Bioproducts Organization, Crop Life Africa and Middle East, as well the USDA. The target countries for this project, as I mentioned, is the SADAC countries, including Botswana, Mozambique, South Africa, Tanzania, Zambia, Mozambique, having Kenya as a collaborating country. The project was approved by end of last year and the kickoff meeting was in March, 2021. Another activity of the biopesticides group is the biocontrol for the fall army worm in Southern Africa. Here again, the group works not just uh, in, in, in South Africa, but uh, in cooperation with other countries, 
such as Mozambique and Zambia. It has also a component in capacity building involving the supporting of academic training of PhD in the University of Pretoria, and also has pivotal institutes in the country working together, such as the Agriculture Research Council and other uh, companies that are involved in the development of this uh, project. The Cancer Genomics Group was had by myself, Dr. Luis Zubini, focus on many omics technologies in order to address different points in cancer research, such as diagnosis, classification, prognosis, and therapeutics. The group focused heavily in, in liquid biopsies, taking in consideration the uh, patients from the African continent. Recently, we just published an article showing the relevance of microRNA-424, which has been detected mostly in an aggressive uh, uh, stage of the disease compared with uh, normal controls and patients with benign hypoplasia of the prostate then this can be leading to a new test that can stratify patients with this uh, disease. In the same line of liquid biopsies, the group also utilizing uh, uh, plasma from patients with prostate cancer in South Africa was able to stratify these patients based on the metabolites that was found by mass, uh, NMR spectrometry and then we are able to identify metabotypes or groups of patients with specific metabolites and then also can also help us in order to, uh, to identify the patients that are uh, more uh, susceptible for having the disease as well with the, uh, the treatment options. The group led by uh, Georgia Schaffer, the Emerging Virus Group, is, uh, was recently established in 2020 here in Cape Town and focused on the Carposi sarcoma herpes virus and the identification of the risk factors involved in this virus. She has recently been awarded uh, uh, um, an important grant from the EDCTP which is focused on the characterization of the KSHV driven pathologies and disease outcomes in HIV infected patients. The other group that we have here and also in the agriculture field is the plant system biology led by Dr. Lara Donaston. One of the main projects of the group is the microbiome project, which is in fact is a collaboration among our three ICGB components, 3S, Delhi and Cape Town, that aims to identify the microorganisms that are present in the soil of a specific crops of importance of each country. Each component will have a, a different role during this project by the identification, then the testing in the, in the field, and then the analysis of the data that eventually will be done here in Cape Town by Dr. Donoso. Simultaneously, she also has another line of research which is the evaluation of the salinity and the growth condition of these plants, trying to find different uh, pathways that leads to a better uh, crop improvement. Finally, the group led by Dr. Stefano Cacciatore is the bioinformatics group, and he plays a critical role within the component as uh, the bioinformatics links all the uh, omics data produced not just by the, the infectious and non infectious disease groups but also by the plant groups and the unit focus on the development of bioinformatics tools and the statistical approach to facilitate 
the interpretation of data generated from the high throughput platforms and through the other groups and also collaboration with groups in Trias and in New Delhi. Here, this slide, I'm just showing you the many international collaborations that we have. I'd like to highlight some of them. Uh, the first is the collaboration that the group of Dr. Frank Bombacher has with the Merck in order to identify uh, new uh, um, drugs for leishmaniasis. Uh, then the, the collaboration with the Swiss National Foundation for the Cancer Genomics Group. And as I said before, the, 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 the biopesticide has a, a collaboration with Zambia and Mozambique through the National Research Foundation South Africa and the SADAC region through the standards and trade facility. Additionally, in this slide, I'm showing you the collaborations with the African Institutes. Uh, as you can see, we have seven countries collaborating, but this number is growing because of our uh, new grants, and we expect this to be around uh, 14 by the end of this year. Lastly, I would like to talk a little bit about the, the pharmaceutical production in Africa. Mostly all the African countries are net importer of medicinal and pharmaceutical products. Um, the African continent covers 95 of its pharmaceutical needs through import and mainly many of these countries that are providing these drugs are heavily disrupted by COVID-19. Even close to 100 countries in the world also are restricting export of medical supplies as part of the response to the COVID-19. In this regard, there are some activities of the ICGB 3S that we you're going to see in more details through the presentation of the Nata Dr. Natasha Skoko from uh, the Biotechnology Development Group. And, but she's been working also uh, with the African continent in, uh, and her focus on the biologicals, which are biopharmaceuticals. They are medicines produced in live organisms. And this is a fast growing segment. The global market this year is predicted to reach $350 billion. The biosimilars is a biological that contains a version of the active substance, which is already authorized by the, the biological medicinal product following the laws of patent protection. These biosimilars can be 35 to 65% cheaper than the originator. In this sense, as I mentioned, the Biotechnology Development Group has been working uh, and, uh, with, to support local biopharmaceutical manufacturing in our member countries and improving the drug availability at more affordable prices. The, the B, BDG has developed uh, and transfer know-how to the production of the following products, uh, EPO, interferon alpha, GCSF, interferon beta and insulin. And here in South Africa, as I mentioned before, uh, um, the, the BDG is working uh, with a lot of African countries. In South Africa, uh, they put an agreement already with the CSIR uh, for the production of biosimilars, and it's trying to expand its activities in the other countries in the continent. With this, I finish here, and i uh, like to thank your attention and wish you uh, a very successful China Medical Expo. Bye-bye.